Hi everyone. We've got my hot dog cart up for sale. It was designed and built by me over the span of about a year and a half or so. Recently, I've uh, I've had to take up duties as primary caretaker for my parents, so uh, I've got unfortunately reluctant to leave the business. But uh, I wanted to do this brief uh, go around of the cart, show you what I features I've got built into the design. First, we'll hit the uh, propane tank compartment, set up for two propane tanks. Works great. And then I built in this uh, access hatch to be able to get into the back to do work if need be. You can see I've used half inch copper pipe uh, throughout the interior here. Um, again, no shortcuts. Moving right along, this is the heart of the, uh, the cart. The refrigerator, we'll get to that in a little bit, um, is powered by this, uh, this battery bank and inverter system I set up. So I've basically got three 12 volt, 96 amp hour batteries, battery charger, my inverter that the uh, refrigerator's plugged in. Battery bank, I haven't run it from start to dead. I've never really needed to, but there are four indicator lights and um, on the inverter lets you know how much power's left, and it got well beyond seven hours before one of those indicator lights went down, so quite a bit of pro uh, uh, power on this machine. And then the uh, battery charger here. Another access hatch to get to the uh, rear plumbing and electrical. This is the uh, the water pump for the wastewater, and there's a separate uh, pump for the fresh water, and wiring for the stereo and so forth. We'll get to in a minute here. Moving right around here, uh, three compartmental wear washing sink. Um, with integrated drain panels. Works great. Here's the uh, fresh water pump I was telling you about earlier. Uh, this provides power to the stereo system. This provides power to the waste, uh, I'm sorry, the fresh water tank. Here, pump go on. See the different perspective there. And this switch here is for the waste water pump. So that works and uh, keep that in the back of your mind we'll get to that in just a second moving along we've got a fully enclosed um, prep uh, area as required by our county here which is really tough getting these things certified but no problem with this cart uh, the plastic compartment I just showed you I said to keep your eye on this is to stash your cash and uh, you can either fill the water tank using gravity fed or using city water. Moving on. This is the firebox area from the underneath. And here's from the overhead. We'll go ahead and open up the sliding glass plexi doors. So this unit has got six burners. Um, Three full-sized uh, steam pan capacity, more than enough room for anything you'd want to do. Uh, prep area here, looking inside here, we've got a compartment for your buns and breadstuffs and so forth. Moving along, bring your attention down here, emergency gas shut off right here. Another access panel. I typically would put a cooler in here loaded with supplies and so forth. I will tell you that the, um, while I'm thinking about it, the fresh water capacity is 15 gallons. The wastewater is 33 gallons, I believe. Um, and then I've got a seven cubic foot beverage air refrigerator, works fine. 
there's that. So moving along, we've got the required hand washing sink, required soap dispenser. And the water heater. This is on-demand water. Um, so once the water system is pressurized, which takes just a second or two, um, all the water runs through here and it within seconds gets hot. I've built in a couple of features into this cart that makes a big difference as far as uh, wastewater. First of all, um, this lever right here allows me to recycle water from the fresh water through the pump back into the fresh water container as the water gets warm so you're not wasting water waiting for the, um, the heater to get hot, which doesn't take long again anyway. Uh, these two levers right here were designed into the system so that uh, you can drain water out of the system. And uh, all you need to do is lower the jack here, all the water comes here, and open up these valves and that's how you get rid of it. We've got a solar panel here, which I set up to um, uh, charge the batteries. On a nice sunny day like today, you can really extend your time, your, your uh, power time. Although I really don't need it because of the capacity of the 12 volt batteries I spoke of earlier. Uh, this typically I would use to store my chips and whatnot. Something I want to point out that's very important is that I had the entire undercarriage of this car rebuilt. This car currently comes in at about 1,900 pounds. The axle that I had uh, that I had installed is good for 2,700 pounds. I'm trying to give you a good shot here. So yeah, everything is very stout, and uh, you got several hundred pounds to play around. With. And that concludes this short uh, walk around on my cart. Um, thank you very much for your interest. Bye-bye.